The race is also close in nearby North Carolina, which has gone to Republicans the last two elections. Former Vice President Biden is currently up two points there with 48 percent support. President Trump is at 46 percent. Just how much of a factor is that Supreme Court battle becoming? CBS News Elections and Surveys Director Anthony Salvanto is in Westchester County, New York, with more on his findings. Anthony, what have you found? Uh, good morning, Margaret. Voters tell us they feel like it's raised the stakes in what was already a high-stakes election, one where many in these states tell us they feel like their culture and way of life is at stake. Let me show you this. A majority of voters in both these states feel like it's made the election even more important, especially Democrats feeling that way. But now both parties tell us that they are motivated to vote. Very high levels there. That's critical in an election that will probably all come down to turnout. But let me remind everybody, don't forget about the economy. It still outranks the court and many other issues in both of these states. Coronavirus, also really important. And the reason that this is so critical, Margaret, is that the president has a lead on who would be better at handling the economy in both of these states and in many others we've polled. In fact, across the board lately, we have seen a tightening of this race in state after state. Anthony, we know Republicans also want to hold on to their Senate majority. Do we have any indication on whether the fates of these Republican senators in southern states are directly tied to the president's fortunes? Uh, well, some of it is, Margaret. Let me start in South Carolina, Republican, reliably Republican state. But here we find that incumbent Senator Lindsey Graham is in a very tight race with Democratic challenger Jamie Harrison. One reason is that while Republicans like the fact that he is close to the president, moderates and independents especially, feeling like he agrees with Donald Trump too much. And it's a similar story in North Carolina, where incumbent Tom Tillis is down to Democrat Ta Cal Cunningham. Same story. Anthony, given a record number of people are expected to vote by mail, will we know how this race is headed uh, before November 3rd? Some of it will be in the bank, as they say, because of so much. In fact, a majority of the votes will be cast before Election Day. If you look at two states here, starting with North Carolina, look at how many Democrats over Republicans say that they want to vote by mail or absentee, and then a sizable number also are going to vote in person early. I suspect that when we get to Election Day, we'll be looking at whether or not Republicans can turn out in large numbers on Election Day, maybe to make up that deficit. The fact is that they've done it before in the past, and they say they're going to do it again. But one other wrinkle in this, Margaret, is that Republicans say that they find navigating the voting process very easy in higher numbers than Democrats do. In a race where you're going to have different kinds of voting, that's going to be really important to what those turnout numbers ultimately become, Margaret. And I know, Anthony, you'll keep us honest on this complicated process this election year. Thank you very much.